Thanks for being with us, Kathleen. So tell us about this former priest, Johan Rivoire. Yeah, so he's living in the south of France. He's retired. He was a Catholic priest working in Nunavut. And it was in the 1960s and early 70s. So this is a historical case. And in these kinds of cases, as you know, many of these victims come forward later in life when they're adults. And that's what happened here. Uh, why hasn't there been, why hasn't he been put on trial, this Mr. Uh, Johannes, I guess I think I said his name wrong, Revoir, why hasn't he been put on trial like other priests? Well, that's a very good question. What happened was by the time RCMP laid criminal charges against him, he had left and gone to France. So then Canada reached out to see if France would send him back to stand trial and learned that France does not extradite its citizens. Mm -hmm. So then this lingered on the books, these charges. And in 2017, Canada decided very little chance of a conviction. So it stayed the charges against him. But this just outraged these, you know, alleged victims and many Inuit in Nunavut. Is there any chance of us getting him back here? Or these charges being, uh, you know, new charges being laid? Where, where does this leave us? Yeah, there is no new investigation, no new charges. My information, uh, that's what I received last week when I started looking into the case. But I'm told that uh, the government of Canada has hired a lawyer to see what else can be done. Mm -hmm. Could he be tried in France, for example? Uh, you know, there is pressure because a lot of these alleged victims are aging, some have died, and, you know, Inuit organizations are involved saying, could we use some of their statements that they gave to police when a charge is originally laid? Like, you know, let's get something going on this again. Well, and is there any conversation about, you know, maybe it's not a matter, a matter of Canada fighting France to get this guy to come back here for charges, but getting the Catholic Church to step in and do the right thing? Well, I have calls into them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have an, a way to answer that question, but the Inuit say the Catholic Church is under pressure right now because of these unmarked graves that mm -hmm. have been found across Canada outside residential schools. And so the government of Canada is under pressure too. You know, this is all a connected issue. These were all alleged crimes that occurred against children that had to go to these schools. They were forced to. Mm -hmm. And in, in doing so, awful things happened to many of them. And yet they say they can't get justice now, especially in this case. Well, Kathleen, I have a lot of respect for the work that you've done on this, on these stories for residential schools and survivors. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Melissa.